I already know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for the leave-ins that I've been using. I don't wanna hear it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about my favorite summer hair products. I recently moved to New Mexico. It is really dry here. It's a lot drier than it was in Missouri where I lived, uh, where it was just constantly like 100% humidity. So now that I'm living in really dry heat, I have been trying to change my hair routine. Uh, my hair has been getting really dry just when I'm outside. So I changed up my routine and that's what we're gonna go over today. If you don't know me, my name is Rachel Jane and this is where I talk about all things curly hair. Oh my gosh. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is shampoo. We're gonna go in the order of how you use your hair products, I guess. The shampoo that I've been using the most recently in this really dry heat is the Nalani Pink Sugar Conditioning Hair Wash. Shout out to Nalani. They make some excellent products. They're a pretty small brand, honestly, and I love working with them. Ugh, it just smells so good. This is a super conditioning shampoo. That's why I like using it. It really does clean your scalp really well. It foams up even though it's sulfate free. It lathers really, really well. This is what I use today in my wash and go. And you can see like my roots are really clean. My scalp's really clean. It did a really good job, but it left my hair feeling conditioned after. It's crazy. So if you have really dry hair, live in a really dry climate and need some moisture in your hair, but you want a shampoo, this is it right here. I'm gonna link all of these products in the description below so you guys know where to find them. Because, because it's so dry here, I have been getting back into co-washing, which is something that I wasn't doing a whole lot when I lived in Missouri. I could get away kind of with uh, shampooing every week, but because my hair has been so dry here, I have had to switch to co-washing half the time. So I've been using the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And I really, I probably switch off every wash day. Every other wash day I'll co-wash and then I just always feel like I need a really good shampooing after a couple weeks. I don't know, I feel a little crusty. I really only use a sulfate shampoo now once a month as opposed to twice a month before when I was in Missouri. I find I don't need it as much here, but yes, as I am coconut co-wash, this has always been my favorite co-wash. It's super conditioning. It does, it does clean your scalp, it really does. It's, it's helpful in that. But you can also brush it through your hair before you condition and it you can detangle with it. Like it has a ton of slip. It also smells really good. <coughs> My conditioners haven't really changed that much. I feel like I found really good conditioners even when I lived in Missouri. So even with the changing climate, I haven't changed them that much. I did find a new deep conditioner, but the normal conditioner that I would pair with the co-wash on co-washing days is the Umberto Giannini Curl Repair Conditioner. It's Repair and Grow. It's from their seaweed wheat brand and caffeine line. And um, this is so conditioning. It does have silicones in it. It has silicones in it. Um, so it's not curly girl friendly, but it is vegan and cruelty free. I do believe now that they are trying to be eco friendly too, which is really, really cool. I'll have to look more into that. If you guys watch my channel, you know that this is a company that I work with and I do love their products so much. The curl repair line is one of the ones that I use the most, including their curl magic repair and grow damage remedy deep conditioner. This is amazing. It also is from this line. It basically smells the same. You can tell I use it a lot because it's almost empty. But these two conditioners are basically my go-to on a regular basis. I will link them in the description. And since I work with Umberto Giannini, I have a code for 20% off if you want to try out their product. The code is JanieCurls20. The new deep conditioner that I got I only tried it because I saw another YouTuber talking about it and they were talking about how much it moisturizes their hair. So I decided to try it just because my hair was feeling really dry. I feel like I needed a kind of like a reset. And so this is the um, Naughty to the Rescue Intense Moisture Treatment. This is an amazing product. If you feel like your hair just has been dry and nothing's been helping it, even your normal like conditioners that you usually love. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it's 
try that again. If you feel like your hair has been really dry and nothing's been really helping with how dry and brittle it is, even your normal products that you usually use, you should try this. I bought this on Amazon. It's not even that expensive. I'll link it in the description. It smells really good. It says it's 90% natural. And I do believe it is silicone free. Yeah, it's sulfate and silicone free. So I'm pretty sure that makes it curly girl friendly. It has no parabens and no petrochemicals. So it's also vegan and cruelty free. This is just a great product. I highly recommend you get a lot for how much you pay for it. And it, it really does work. It is what I used today before this wash day. And my curls are hydrated and juicy and popping. Try this out. I already know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for the leave-ins that I've been using. I don't wanna hear it. They've been working, I used them today. They, it looks amazing, so let's go over them. So just as a leave-in conditioner, in this really dry weather, I've been having to use really thick um, products that are kind of buttery. So the two leave-in conditioners I've been using are the Umberto Giannini Banana Butter and Oh god, it smells so good. It smells like those little banana candies that you can get from like one of those little dispensers that you pay like a quarter for. They smell so good. I'll also link this in the description with my code Janie Girl Janie Girls. <laughs> Janie Curls 20. Get 20% 20 off of your order from this. This is a really good leave-in conditioner. The other leave-in conditioner I have been using that I always love is the Many Ethnicities Leave-in Conditioning Cream. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you know this is a pretty OG product from my channel. I've always loved all of the Many Ethnicities products, and I really hope they come out with some more uh, products. I would love for them to come out with a deep conditioner, really just anything. I would, I anything Many Ethnicities is a quality product, so highly recommend this one too. Okay, this is where it gets a little, a little controversial. The curling cream I used today, I've had it in had it in my collection for a long time from when I first started my curly hair journey and I decided to revisit it because I remember liking it at the very beginning before I used a brush to style. So today I used the coconut curling cream from Cantu and this is not a curly girl friendly product just so you know. Uh, my curly girls out there it does have petrolatum in it. I really like this product. It honestly has like the perfect consistency for my hair um it keeps my hair really hydrated but it keeps it from getting frizzy and it's not even that expensive it, it, like you can pick it up at walmart for like seven bucks i think this is just a really good product i really like it Cantu gets a lot of hate and is getting a lot of hate recently um in the natural hair community it doesn't work for some people and a lot of their products don't work for me but this one does so I've been using the coconut curling cream on my wash days. The other curling cream that I've been using, of course, is the Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. I always love this. This is a great um, curling cream for multicultural hair. If you have multiple curl patterns, this is it right here. So I always love this one. It does have silicones in it. Uh, it has amyl dimethicone in it, so it's not curly girl friendly. We all know I'm not curly girl friendly by now. So really these are the only two curling creams I've been using. Um, so I, I usually just use a leave-in conditioner, a curling cream, a gel, and then a mousse. The gels I've been using, I've really been only using two gels on the regular. I'm almost out of this one. I need to order more. My favorite gel is the Power Curl Styling Jelly from Many Ethnicities. This is just like one of those holy grail products. I I love this product. That's all I really have to say about it. It doesn't have sulfates, parabens, gluten, dyes, petrolatum. It does have glycerin in it, which is why I use a glycerin-free mousse on top of it. Excellent gel. The other newer gel that I've been using is the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly. Uh, it's kind of a, it says it's a scrunching jelly. I don't scrunch my hair. Um, scrunching my hair often makes it frizz, but I have been using this just to brush style with my Denman brush and it works really, really well. It does make a really nice cast on my hair that I can like scrunch out with oil lighter. And it also, it also just smells really good. I feel like I don't need to wear perfume when I use this. So I definitely recommend this. Once again, you can use my code JanieCurls20 for 20% 20 off of this product. I'll link it below. And then finally, the only mousse I've been using, 
The only one that really works for me at this point is the Miracle Curls mousse from Aussie. The whole Miracle Curl Miracle Curls. The whole Miracle Curls line from Aussie is amazing. Their hair oil from this line is really nice. I know that they have a co-wash now that I've been wanting to try, but I've heard it's really, really good. But yeah, I use this mousse at the very end just to seal in that glycerin containing gel. But I think both my gels have glycerin in them, so it's really important just because I'm in such extreme dry weather to seal it with this mousse. Alrighty, and then I also have been changing up the oils I've been using a little bit. So I still use the same tea tree oil from Walmart. It's just tea tree oil on my scalp. I have been using this argan oil from Trader Joe's. It's just 100% argan oil. Um, I use it every night before I put my hair in a bonnet and just keeps my hair nice and moisturized overnight. Just a good sealing oil. The other thing I've been using just to seal my hair before I leave the house or go outside is this Trader Joe's hair serum that has shea butter and coconut oil in it. This is really good. It actually reminds me a lot of the Miracle Curls. The Miracle Curls, um, oil. <laughs> this does have dimethicone in it. It's not curly girl friendly, but um, I love silicones in my hair and uh, this does it. This is such a nice product. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, I do recommend you go and pick this up and try it for yourself. That's a summary of all the products I've been using now uh, for the summertime. Now that it's been super dry and hot outside, having to keep the moisture in my hair. Those have been the products that have been the most successful for me. So today my wash day included the Nilani Pink Sugar Conditioning Hair Wash, the Naughty to the Rescue Intense Moisture Treatment, the Many Ethnicities Leave-In Conditioning Cream, as I said before, the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. Don't, don't hate this Try this product before you hate on it. I used the Power Curl Styling Jelly from Many Ethnicities. And then, like I said, I used the Aussie Miracle Curls Mousse on top of that. That is all I have for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram. Thanks, guys.